here uh, I'm doing one more example of finding second derivative of the function here my given function you can say f of x or if you want to write then you can write y also depends on the people whatever they like you can assume as a y as question has given or you can assume like f of x as a uh, uh, as a function so 3 over x square is your given function and now you need to find out the second derivative of this we have already discussed in the previous videos what is second derivative and how to find out right so first to find out the second derivative we need to first find out the derivative of this function which is also known as the first derivative of the function we, which we represent something like f prime of x or if you are using this y notation then you have to write dy over the dx and now how to write this derivative how to find out the derivative of this you know uh, like uh, 3 over x squared it is so you can write it like 3 times x to the power minus 2 also here because x squared when you go up up I mean in numerator then it will be 3 times x to the power minus 2 so now let's find out the derivative of this by using power rule so 3 is here a coefficient uh, yeah a coefficient or constant so let me put this outside and now let's talk about only this 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 part so here I'm going to use the power rule so power times the variable or the base whatever we have and whose power will be reduced by 1 so it is going to be now 3 times 2 that is minus 6 x to the power minus 3 this is my first derivative now what is second derivative as we said the derivative of the derivative you know minus 6 x to the power minus 3 this is also a function you can imagine this is something like another function which is g of x you know so this, this this can be another function like g of x so it's it's a function g of x somewhere you'll get some kinds of graph I don't know it may be it's not the exact graph actually of this you know so it's it's a kind of graph you'll get it here you can graph it right you know it's another function and now I can easily find out the derivative of this g of x function right which is actually g prime of x or you can say here this is f double prime of x or you can see here d square y over dx is now equals to this minus 6 times x to the power minus 3 so now I'm going to find out the derivative of this function so since minus 6 is the coefficient here right so minus 6 let me first write minus 6 times you know and here I'm just now going to talk about x to the power minus 3 um, and I'm going to use your power rule so power is minus 3 times the base and whatever the power we have that will be reduced by 1 so what we get the g prime of x what we get here actually this is now minus times minus it will plus so it will be 18 x to the power minus 4 this is my g prime of x and what is this g prime of x actually yes this g prime of x means f double prime of x means this g prime of x is the derivative of the function and that function is itself a derivative of one function which is y which is f of x so first simply nothing you know don't give any stress to your brain simply find out the first derivative you know first find out the first derivative this is also called first derivative and then after finding the first derivative whatever you're going to get like here we get minus 6x to the power minus 3 now again differentiate that function you know after that what do you get another function suppose this is uh, not why I'm talking we suppose yeah this is suppose g equals to you got what um, g of x as I said here g of x what you had got you know you had got this minus 6x to the power minus 3 now let's just find out just differentiate it again with respect to x and you'll get g prime of x and which you already find out this is uh, positive 18 x to the power minus 14 that's it you know simple it is you can find out third fourth or whatever you want to find out in the same way in the similar way all right i hope you understand it and we'll meet in the next video goodbye